to excuse the fact that I have thousands of layers on, but I'm absolutely freezing. Um, I'm going to do the tough predictions now for the tough 10 finale. Easier than I thought because uh, it's actually full of a lot of people who we already know and less of the toughers. At least I haven't added them yet. Uh, not doing predictions for the two finals. Um, I don't think, you know. But I'm doing uh, predictions for the others now. I have um, a number of fights from the UFC uh, homepage. I also have several fights from MMA Playground that are not yet on the UFC uh, homepage. I don't know if they're happening or not. I'm going to make predictions for them just in case. I'll start with those. We've got uh, John Madsen fighting Justin Wren, maybe. Um, Justin Wren has a record of 6-1, and one, uh, usually winning by TKO. Um, John Madsen, according to this, Gordon Sherdog has just a record of 1. Um, he uh, beat Ryan Quartzia in 2008 uh, in round 5. We're not quite sure how. Um, he's the hit squad person. Uh, a good fighter, not so good attitude. Um, I think because he trained to the hit squad, I don't know much about Justin Wren, you see, I didn't actually watch much of Tough. I'm going to go for John Madsen, um, but I'm going to go for him by decision, I think. Um, they also have, MMA Playground also has, Kimbo Slice fighting Houston Alexander. I think that's quite a good one, because Houston Alexander, you know, he has a bizarre record. Uh, no contest, win-win, loss, 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 win. Uh, he's a stand-up fighter, so he mainly wins by TKOs. In fact, part of the uh, part of the thing that people have been saying about him is he has no ground game. He has got more than he used to, um, but he's still uh, effectively just on the feet. Uh, Kimbo Slice, of course, only has three or a one record, um, and he is known uh, to be on the feet and, and again not so much on the ground. Prime example here um, of the UFC matching somebody up. Uh, to Kimbo Slice, who isn't immediately going to squash him. Remember I've said before, um, quite a few times in fact, that sometimes the UFC can matchmake uh, to try and cause somebody to get squashed. Um, and it can be a, um, um, a business uh, hatred towards the person. There's also a certain amount of feeding that the, the UFC can do. To put Kimbo Slice, who, is, um, who at least was pretty much a one-dimensional striker against Houston Alexander, who, again, was uh, pretty one-dimensional. They've both moved on since, but that is their speciality. Um, means that it's quite a fair matchup. Do you know, I like them both, and this is the problem. If Houston Alexander loses, um, I can see them trying to, to, to get rid of him. Having said that, Kimbo Slice, you know, I, I saw him on tough. I was totally against it. I thought it would be dreadful. And he just turned out to be such a nice person. Um, Should I also have him, interestingly, fighting out of ATT, which I didn't know. I think this is going to be uh, a knockout in the second. Uh, and I'm not sure who I'm going to go for. You know, I'm going to go for Kimbo Slice. I'm going to go for Kimbo Slice. No, I'm not. I'm going to go for Houston Alexander. Sorry. I'm going to go for Houston Alexander. I kind of wish it was Kimbo Slice, and I think he does have a good chance. Uh, but I think Houston has the experience, and Houston is also uh, probably more aware of where he stands within the institution, and he knows that he has to win this one, I think. Um, I think if Kimbo does a good showing, they will probably bring him back, because I think it's what they've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, people do seem to have taken to him very well in tough. Right, I'll move on to the card that's shown, uh, expressed on the UFC homepage. Mark Bocek, 7-2, wins by submission. He loses to calibers, like even minor cal calibers. You're talking Matt Danzig and Frankie Edgar. Everybody loses to Frankie Edgar. Um, he is fighting uh, Joe Brammer, who is 7-0. He wins by submission. Um, I'm going to go for Mark Bocek here. I'm going to go for him by submission. I'll go for Barr in the second. Uh, John Howard is 12-4, wins by submission. Uh, he's on a five-win streak. Now, 
let's have a look at this because his wins, most recent wins, he's never been beaten in the UFC, um, but he's also never finished anybody in the UFC. He's always won uh, against Tamden McCrory and Chris Wilson by split decision. He's fighting Dennis Horman. No way is he taking Dennis Horman to decision. This has to be, this, this will be ended. So, uh, do I think that um, John Howard is going to beat uh, Dennis Horman um, when his speciality is submission? Uh, when you look at Dennis Horman, whose speciality is also submission, and he has 32 to his name uh, from a record of 41 and 12. Sorry, I think that uh, Dennis Horman will win this one. I shall go for um, I shall go for choke submission in the second. I think with that. Brian Stan, I remember him from WEC, is fighting Rodney Wallace. Rodney Wallace, perfect record of nine, uh, but six of those are wins by decision. The only person on his record is Antoine Britt, uh, who he has beaten. He's facing Brian Stan, seven and two wins uh, by TKO. He's got a wobbly record, win, loss, loss, win. Um, he loses and beats people like Steve Cantwell. Hmm. This is going to be quite a test for Rodney uh, Wallace, I do think. It's also a stand-up versus, um, well, probably submission. I hope that Rodney Wallace is going to take the submission angle here because uh, Brian Stan has six TKO wins out of his seven wins in total. And Rodney Wallace only knows how to go to decision, really. Um, I'm going to go for Brian Stan by TKO in the third for that. Okay, Frankie Edgar, uh, remember everybody loses to Frankie Edgar, um, is 10 and 1. He's never been finished. Um, he wins quite a lot by decision. He's got wins over the likes of Sean Shirk, Hermes Franca, Spencer Fisher, and Tyson Griffin. He is fighting Matt Veach. Now, Matt Veach is out of the hit squad. Perfect record of 11. Uh, his wins are submissions, but the biggest calibre on his record is Matt Rice. Now, people, a lot of people had a go at me when I chose um, Brian Foster against Brock Larson. I have to say that everybody loses to Frank Edgar. It is true. But I'm going to say also that I think Matt Beach will be a um, will be a uh, a bit of a a bit of an exception to the rule. I think. Do I think he will finish Frank Edgar? No, I don't. Not at all. I think it will go to decision. It may even go as far as split decision. But I am pretty sure that Matt Beach will be victorious. I just know the ethos of that place. Um, and I, you, you are beginning to see that a lot of these fighters are being pitted against terrible, terribly formidable opponents. Nobody w would ever think that they would win. And they are winning. They are winning. So I'm going to go for Matt Beach. By decision. And the main event, Matt Hamill versus John Jones. Matt Hamill is 7-2. and two, Wins by TKO. He has never been submitted. His record, win-loss, win-loss, win-win. Loses to Calibers. John Jones is not yet a Calibre. He's got a record of 9-0, and zero, but he's only beaten the likes of Stefan Bonner and Jake O'Brien. He uh, wins by TKO or submission. Uh, he especially likes the guillotine in, the, in submission. I think that I'm going to go for Matt Hamill here. I'm going to go for Matt Hamill. I'm going to say that it will be... A TKO in the second, but I think you might find it's more like round and pound than actually some sort of knockout. 